Now, Rosalia Bolin is a communication specialist with the United Nations, and she joins us now from Rafa in Gaza. Uh, Rosalia, thank you so much for your time. There are so many pressing needs for the people of Gaza. What is the most serious currently? One year into the war, um, it is just inconceivable that these attacks continue on a daily basis. We have on a daily basis reports of mass casualty events, um, including with many reported child victims. So what people in Gaza need most is an immediate, immediate ceasefire to make things even worse. Winter has started in Gaza. Temperatures have dropped. There's lots of storms and rain and people are cold. They're wet. They're tired. They're worn out. Everyone's miserable, really. When I go out to cover stories of children and their families, mothers beg me to help them um, find warm clothes for, for their children. Um, UNICEF will be bringing in um, warm clothes, uh, winter clothes for, for children soon. But what people really need first and foremost um, is an, an end to this war. Absolutely. And we've seen some hope because of the ceasefire that's just been brokered uh, between Hezbollah and Israel. Do the people on the ground hold out much hope that the moves we're seeing now to once again try for a Gaza ceasefire will be successful? What I see when, when I go around Gaza and when, when I visit um, people in their tents and I sp speak with families and, and children is that they are too busy with surviving. Um, they're, they're actually, some are, are completely indifferent. They look like ghosts, but many people, um, their, their main concern is finding food or finding medicines or clothes. As I said, there is deprivation and hardship at so many different levels. You may have heard the UN, including UNICEF, say that there is no safe place for children and their families in Gaza. And we mean that literally in terms of um, the risk of, of, of being killed by bombs and bullets. But we also mean that um, because of the living conditions, the conditions here in Gaza put the lives of children and their families at immediate risk. The healthcare system has been decimated. There is no access to sufficient food and to sufficiently nutritious food. The um, sanitation situation is very dire, highly unhygienic. Diseases are, are, are spreading. Um, it's cold. There's People don't have proper shelter. Tents are made of cloth, of blankets, of anything people can get their hands on. Um, so, so that's what people are most concerned concerned with here mm. in Gaza. There was an international UNICEF team of health and nutritional experts. They visited a hospital in the north, the Kamal Adwan Hospital. What did you find? Awful scenes at Kamal Atwan Hospital, really. The a UNICEF team composed of nutrition and health experts um, was able to reach the hospital on the 26th of, of November. Um, they found a hospital that I'm not sure we can still call a hospital. For instance, the neonatal intensive care unit, there was impacts of bullets ever, everywhere. And as a result of that, the neonatal ICU is, is currently out of use. Um, at the time of our visit, there were 13 children that were taken care of in the hospital, um, most of them with very severe war trauma injuries. For instance, a four-year-old girl with a head injury, she had been crushed under the rubble. Um, an 11-year-old girl who had lost her eye and who also had a head injury, and a 13-year-old boy who had very, very severe injuries due Due to an explosion that same morning and we actually ended up medically evacuating that boy in a UNICEF vehicle from Kamal at one hospital to Shifa hospital because there were no surgeons in Kamal at one who could um, save this this boy's life so we had to evacuate him to another hospital very dire situation the hospital has already been under siege and under attacks for weeks and weeks now so they've run out of medical supplies out of medicines out of out of doctors um, and they urgently need these supplies all right thank you very much for giving us the picture that's rosalia bolin she's a communications specialist with the united nations live from rafa in gaza and just putting stories to some of those awful stats